I'm Sebastian, and this is Mrs. Madden's class, and we're reading Trolley and the Line by Mac Burnett. Pictures by Adam Rex. This is me, Mac. I'm the author of this book. This is my friend, Adam. He's the illustrator of this book. And this is Trolley. She's the main character of this book. Whenever Trolley went, she looked for loose change. She would find nickels on sidewalks, dimes under couches, and quarters in pinball machines. All week long, Trolley would save the money she found in a glass jar. On Saturday, she would walk from her house through the forest and over the park where she would find, buy a ticket to go on the merry ground. But one week, Trolley found a lot of change. So she was able to buy a lot of tickets. And rode around and around and around. Which why was she got very, very dizzy. And that's how Tully ended up lost in the forest. It was getting dark in the forest. Filled with noises, and just as Tully realized, he'd been walking in circles. A huge, a huge lion left out bef behind from an oak tree. I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on. Adam, could, could you come out here? Adam, what is that? It's a dragon. All right. We'll take a look at my story I wrote. A huge lion left out from an oak tree. It's supposed to be a lion, not a dragon. I know, I just thought that dragon would be cooler. You did, huh? You did. <coughs> well, look, the fact is, I don't really care what you think. I'm the author of this book. You're the illustrator. That means... I'm in charge of what happened, and you draw whatever I tell you. So if I say Tony found a birthday present on the ground, the next page better have a picture of a big, pretty birthday present wrapped in silver and tied with a pink bow. Very funny. This better be fake by the next page. One more chance. He was a police officer. You're fired, Adam. You can't fire me. Go a little straight the book. No problem. Please, gorilla. Suddenly, an artist walked into the clearing, carrying paintbrushes and all the other stuff he needed to illustrate. A brilliant story writer, written by a true genius. This is me, Mac. I'm the author of this book. This, and this is my new friend, Hank. He's the illustrator of this book. This is Trolley, the main character of this book. Who had just been surprised by a huge lion. The worst thing I did was walk up to Adam and swallow him whole. Hound. <coughs> then the beast turned to Charlie and let out a noisy roar. Roar! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hey, could you make the lion a little scarier? Give him a big claws, great, and chunk of cheese. Yeah, that's pretty good, but scary. You know, more like Adam would draw him. Look, buddy, if you really want him to be scary, maybe you should make him a dragon. That would be cooler. Look, hey, this isn't working out. You're not going to have the headline eat me, are you? Just, just go. This is me, Matt. I'm the author and the illustrator of this book. And it's a jolly. Wait, no, it's a jolly. No, that's not right, I think. And we were like this. No, 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 no. Who am I kidding? This book is a disaster. I give up. Now, don't talk to me. Didn't you think you're being a little hard on yourself? Okay, so, I'm really badly. Really badly. Yeah. Actually, this is so terrible artwork, Mac. Like worst I've ever seen. 
But so what? You're the writer and I'm the illustrator. We just add something to the story. But you can't just stop telling it. Ring, ring. Hello? And if he, wait. Adam, I was wrong. Hank's not good as you, and I'm terrible at drawing. And well, this book needs both of us. I want you to draw the pictures. Any? I'm sorry. Any? I mean, anything else? I'm sorry. I couldn't quite read that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll draw. But you've got to get me out of this line. This is me, Mac. I'm the author of this book. This is my friend, Adam. He's the illustrator of this book. This is Jolie, the world's famous lion hunter. Jolie followed the trail of paw prints through the forest. Came across a lumberjack selling trees in clearing. My friend has been swallowed by a lion, and I'm off to save him, said Jolie. Will you help me? What color? Nah, said the woodcutter. I only go after wolves dressed as old ladies. <laughs> so the trolley went on. Soon it came across a noby crone shuffling hay with a mean old pig's fork. My friend has been swallowed by a lion. I'm off to save him, Trolley said. Will you help me, farmer? Sorry, said the woman. I just go her. I just, I just go after emotionally wounded by their mad genius creators. So, Charlie went on. <laughs> she heard sound of metal and grinding on metal. She stumbled upon a knife before she could even start talking. And I began, Hey there, girl. I'm a noble knight looking for a quest. And so, are clearly... Clearly, a damasi. Damaso. Damaso. Dam Damsel. Damsel in distress. Ready to help him with any finished foe. Great, said Jolly. My friend has been swallowed by a lion. All by a lion. A lion, asked the knight. Really? A journey would have been so cooler. Clearly, then I was an idiot. So Charlie went on, went on alone. Charlie had a plan. Hmm. He followed the footprints right up to a cave inside of the mountain. Terrifying roars and horrible smells came blasting from the entrance. Lion! Lion, I'm Charlie. Come and meet your match. Charlie could hear one's footstep getting closer and closer. He heard a thunderous and they went to ear splitting. The footsteps had stopped and Charlie knew the lion was ready to pounce. She wondered whether she made a big mistake. Uh -oh. Boing! Look, I look terrible, said the lion. Who drew me? Mac did, said Jolie. I asked him to. How could you let that up a how could you let him pick up a pencil? He is awful. You should be an artist prison. The line went on and on, maybe overreacting a little. I'm not overreacting, he continued. Oh, I am ruined. And once I was so beautiful, and then I began to cry. Trolley saw her chance. The only person who can draw you the right way is trapped inside your belly. He's not going to help you out unless you cough him up. The lion coughed up at him. Blah. The end. Uh, guys? Is that it? I mean, it's fact the lion saved Adam, kept Matt from abandoning the whole story midway through, and this is it. This is how you think, say thanks. 
This is the end. Then Minecraft is a shiny nickel. The end. The lion shook. Then the lion rumbled. Then the lion wheezed. Everyone surprised. He copped a tall shiny puddle. And everyone surprised. He copped a, a tall shiny pile of quarters, nickels, and dimes. Exactly enough to buy everyone a ticket to go on the merry-go-round. Lion on the merry-go-round. This book is Trolley and the Lion, and um, some of the characters are Mac, are Mac and Adam, because. Those are act the actual illustrators, and they're actually the illustrator and the author are actually in the book. So um, they're like talking mean to each other, and once um, they're talking mean, and the pictures by Adam, Adam he wrapped um, he wrapped Mac in a in a um in a huge bow the next page he and then he made him a police officer and then after that he made him a gorilla and then he said you're fired at him and then and then he he said you can't fire me your little story is a brilliant story then he said no problem da -da 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 -da. then the artist walked into the clearing then, then he made the uh, lion a little scarier, and then he said, Look, buddy, if you want the lion to be scarier, may maybe you should make him a dragon. And then he, then the lion turned Adam and swallowed him whole. <clears throat> and then Adam called him on the phone, and they talked, and then he said, The only, and then um, he drew him, and then, Cholly went along and um, she met a lumberjack, a mean looking pitchfork and lady, and she found a noble knight, which the noble knight was an idiot. And also, um, the lumberjack um, said he went after old, he went off. He went after wolves, dressed as old ladies, and then after, um, then he came to. After that, he came to the woman shoveling hay, and with a mean-looking pitchfork. And she, she said, she only goes after. She goes after. Um, she helps um, things that are abundantly wounded by their ma mad genius creators. And then the noble knight came, and he was an idiot because he said lion. And then she, then he said, um, lion. Much. Then he said a lion. A dragon would have been much cooler. And then she said clearly, the knight was an idiot. And then what I liked about the story is when Choli and when Choli saved Mac. I mean Adam. Bye.